you ever go to a place to take landscape photos, and landscape photos where we are, it's all about the sky, how awesome the sky can be. Well, yesterday it was cloudy, it was drizzly, it was nothing. Today, there's a little bit of cloud and a lot of bloody wind, but over there where I really want to take this photo, the sky's almost clear, there's only a little bit of cloud. So how do we get a photo like this and turn it into this? Let's get into it. G'day guys, Shane Mostyn here. If you're into mobile photography, well, I've been a photography instructor for about five years. For the last three years or so, I've been teaching mobile phone photography. Why? Well, you're not going to win any great awards for things like astrophotography or really the gun things that you can do with a proper camera. But everybody has one of these. And this creative process, this wonderful thing that we do with photography, well, it should be available to everybody. So that's why I started doing the mobile photography workshops with the iPhones and Androids and so forth. So when COVID hit, we put all this online and every week I do two videos on a Monday and then a five minute Friday. So if you're into mobile photography and you want to learn about mobile photography, this is a channel that you probably want to subscribe to. Every week I do two videos, one on a Monday and one on a Friday, the five minute Fridays. We do lots of astrophotography with your iPhone. Yeah, you can do it. You can take photos of the stars with your phone. We do light painting, editing, all sorts of tips and tricks. So hit the subscribe button there guys, jump on board and you'll see what we do every week. Let's get into it. So where we are today, we're actually not that far from where I live. I've come here quite a bit to take photos. There used to be an old truck sitting over here with bullet holes and stuff all through it. And uh, I used to take a lot of astro photos with that truck and I'll throw a few up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But what else is here is it's basically an old quarry. Um, there's it's a lot of granite outcrops here and the people who own this, uh, many years ago, they used to mine this for, for the gravel and it would service basically the district in gravel. But now it's well and truly gone and all that's left is some decrepit buildings and some awesome subjects for photos. So the building where we are right now, this would have been where they crushed all the rock into gravel that they've mined out of the surrounding hillside. Um, all that's left inside there now is just the foundations of the old machinery. The rocks would have come in through, through a hole in the wall there, crushed inside here, gone out to a truck and sent off to the district. It's well and truly past that now. All that's left now is these cool bricks that are crumbling away. The roof, it's mostly gone and uh, it makes for a really cool subject to photo. Going to go up there a little bit, face back towards this building. We'll put the building on one of the thirds, put the horizon on one of the thirds and see what we can do with the sky. The whole point of this video is to replace that sky. So let's get up there and have a look. So you can see behind me there, the building. I should be able to get the building on one of the thirds now, put the horizon on the bottom third, and uh, using the grid lines on the phone, I'll link up the top here how you turn all those on, we should be able to set the composition quite well. And you can see up behind there, it's all blown out. It's really nothing in the sky. There's, a, there's only a couple of little clouds there, but we'll see what we can do about replacing that. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's take a couple of photos. So with the iPhone 11 Pro, it's got the three lenses that we can use there, and I'll use just the wide lens first. 
and I'll then use the ultra wide lens which is on the the pro and it will open up a lot more it's a really wide lens it's an incredibly wide lens you've got to be careful with your fingers about where you put them holding the camera because they'll actually show up um, in the photo so keep your hands right away from the lenses we'll set it on the third we'll touch it for focus take another photo we'll try the telephoto one as well and this is on the iPhone 11 Pro this is the main difference between the other uh, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro is this telephoto lens uh, that might work we'll see and that's that all right let's go and have a look at this app Skylab is what it's called it costs about seven bucks eight dollars maybe in the uh, app store and we'll go and find one of these photos that we've just taken we'll try the first one that we've taken with the regular size lens just the wide lens and what we've got here now across the bottom what's immediately apparent is you've got all these clouds if you don't want clouds if you want to change what it is from clouds you can make it a clear sky make it a cloudy sky sunset photos uh, stormy with lightning and so forth you can do pretty much anything you want um, you can even add rainbows to it let's even try a rainbow because it's still a sunny day there's a little bit of cloud this cloud is not the real cloud um, so we'll try this double rainbow here and you can see it puts it there right away the, all the gestures that regular work on an iPhone work just fine and you can see there though it's just going over the top of it so what we need to do is mask it out so what we're going to do is go into the mask second from the left there and we're just going to along the horizon up along the tree everything in between it'll do its best to do what it thinks is right we'll zoom into this building now you can see the trees got a little bit over the top so we'll go to the eraser and we'll just touch along the edge and it will do the best that it can do with the AI that it has let's go to the brush again we'll just tidy that up a little bit where I've gone too much and for the purpose of this that'll do just fine we'll hit done up the top and now when we bring that down you see it's not covering the building it's going down the bottom here but we shouldn't put any of the sky down the bottom there so we'll put that into roughly the sort of position that we want to put it into right about there and you think might look a little we want to be able to blend the sky in a bit better so we'll go over to fade and we'll scroll this up or down a little bit higher like that and I think that's pretty effective so once you're happy with that you push export up the top there a little square with the arrow across it and out it will go let's try something else let's try yeah let's try some heavy skies maybe this one does that work mm, not really we can go over to just a regular sunset and we'll see how that one there fits in we'll hit that fade again and we'll fade it out a little and it doesn't look too bad once we're happy with that you can just export it and save it to the camera roll another one that we might try is one of the photos that I took a couple of weeks ago over at some train carriages out there that night we'll try this one here we we'll go done and we'll, we've got the sky back there with the clouds that's no good we want to put some stars in there let's try some stars uh, moonlight night let's put the uh, let's put the galactic core up there behind the train now how cool does that look that looks pretty bloody impressive but we need to mask out the train carriages so we'll leave it on auto go across these things and bring it back down it'll do the best it can we don't need to worry too much about that anyway but that's pretty good like that hit done and we'll bring the sky up pretty good we'll hit the fade fade it out a little bit because we've already got a night sky there and we'll save that So some photos are going to work better in this app than what others will. So the building that we've just photographed, because we've got that tree sitting behind it, it's quite difficult to mask everything out around that tree, all the branches, all the leaves. It's really quite difficult to mask it out. Whereas the photo with the train caboose is there, because they're very angular and there's nothing really sprouting out of them, the masking works really well. I'm sure you could do, if you spent enough time, 
zoomed right in on that tree, you could mask it out pretty well. But quite frankly, I just don't have the time for that. Love.